Post Harvest Technology of Cardamom, your knowledge sharing hub, Technic Journey YouTube channel. Introduction of Cardamom. Cardamom is the queen of spices. Scientific name of it, Electraria cardamom. It belongs to Cinchiberaceae family. Cardamom normally requires a cool climate. It is a perennial herbaceous plant with thick irregular shaped rhizome. The plant produces a large number of leafy vegetative stem called seedly stem. Plant height is about 2 to 3 meters with numerous alternative leaves. The inflorescence is a panicle which arise from the rhizome at the base of each sieve stem and may be 1 meter or more in length. It either is spread horizontally on the ground or stand erect or semi-erect. Cardamom starts to bear at the third year after planting. The mature fruit is light green to yellow capsule. This is a base of well beard cardamom bush. Main post harvest step of cardamom harvest, cleaning, drying, grade of cardamom, packaging, storage, and utilization. First step is harvest. Main cropping season is from August to January. If receiving well distributed rainfall, flowering and fruiting take place throughout the year. Harvests are taken at 4 to 6 week interval throughout the year. Each capsule is clipped off individually together with a portion of its stalk. The capsules are picked before they are fully ripe to prevent them from splitting on drying. At this stage, their color is just changing from green to yellow. Dried yield around about 10 kilograms per hectare. However, under good management practices, about 250 kilograms per hectare you can achieve. Second step is cleaning. The cardamom capsules should be cleaned before processing. The first step is remove dust and dirt using a winnowing basket. It can be done manually or uh, using a small machine. After winnowing, the capsules are washed in clean water. Wash removes dirt and borer attack capsules. The capsule can be soaked in a solution of sodium bicarbonate for 10 to 15 minutes. It helps to Retain the green color. After washing, the stalk are removed from the cardamom capsule by hand. However, this could be done by rubbing on a wire mesh after drying. Third step is drying. The rate of drying is about 5 in 1. Two methods of drying as sun drying and mechanical drying. Sun drying, the traditional and simple method, but bleaches the capsule and give poor quality product. Mechanical drying, drying in hot air burns known as green curing, gives a product of uniform quality. Temperature and humidity in the drying chamber should be carefully controlled. 
drying process will be over in about 35 to 40 hours in curing chamber. Temperature during curing process should be very carefully controlled as follows. In the drying process of drying chamber, the capsules are spread shallow on wire trays and placed in the chamber. The trays may be interchanged every 10 to 12 hours. The moisture control of fresh cardamom capsule is about 85%. This need to be reduced up to 10% to be stored. After drying, the capsules are rubbed on a wire mesh or other rough surface to remove any tails or stalk remain on them and we know to remove other foreign matter. The final product is stored away from a strong light in sack. Cardamom is graded into into the following five categories under Sri Lankan condition. Fifty step packaging. Cardamom capsules can be packaged in polythene bags of various size according to the market demand. The bags should be sealed to prevent moisture entry. Sealing machine can be used to seal the bags. Attractive labels should be applied to the product. The label need to continue, contain all relevant product and legal information as follows. Storage Dried cardamom capsule must be stored in moisture-proof containers away from direct sunlight. For long-term bulk storage, polythene lined gunny bags inside wooden box are used. The polythene bags help to preserve the green color of the product. The stored cardamom should be inspected regularly to check spoilage or moisture. The storage room should be clean, dry, cool and free from pest. Final step is utilization. Cardamom is mainly used in the food industry as flavoring agent. It can be divided into two groups based on their usage as primary product and secondary proceed. Thank you.